Do the similarities between certain virus genes and different genes in some different species of organisms that look a lot alike, does that show that Darwinian evolution is true? Hey, what's up guys? This is Daniel from iApologia, where science, reason, and Christianity meet. Now, unless you're a biologist or deep into the area of biology, this might be confusing to you. But let me explain to you what's going on here. Certain or organisms, certain species have different genes that look a lot like different viruses that we can find in the environment. Darwinists suggest that this similarity across species indicates that we had a common ancestor. However, is this the only explanation? The answer is no. The first one is, if creatures were designed by a creator, maybe the creator put the genes in the different organisms for a purpose. Think about it this way. If a creator knew that different organisms needed a certain function, why wouldn't a creator put the same gene in multiple organisms? That makes sense, right? Some of these genes have important functions such as reproduction. Maybe these genes, instead of coming from viruses into the cell of some organism, some ancient organism that we're all related to, maybe some cell, some virus infected some cell, and that virus picked up some of the genes from the cell. The last explanation that I can think of is a transfer mechanism. Think of it this way. What if an organism or groups of organisms would go to, let's say, some other environmental conditions, such as to the Arctic or Antarctic situation. Well, they would need certain genes to function properly, right? Now, what if viruses were designed to carry a specific gene that allowed these different organisms to live better in those environments? Maybe they transfer these different genes from organism to organism to be able to deal with this new environment that they're in. This would be much like the widgets that someone would put in their web page to give that web page certain functions. But that does not mean that that web page is the only web page online that would have that widget. Actually, that widget can be used in many different web pages. If this was true, this change, this addition of the genome would not be so much of a vertical relationship, but actually a horizontal relationship, much different than Darwinian evolution. These three different explanations, as a design feature, it has a, a, the opposite effect, not necessarily these genes going from viruses to the organism, but rather the virus picking up this DNA from the organism. Or third, as a transfer mechanism for certain specific needs of the animal. All of these, however, do not seem to point to Darwinian evolution. Actually, they seem to point to a creator. All right, guys, thank you for listening. I really appreciate you coming on board. If you like this video, would you like below? Also, if you would subscribe to this channel, you would get latest updates on more topics like this. If you enjoyed this video, would you please share this on Facebook, Twitter, and any other social media platform? All right, guys, thank you for coming by. You have an amazing rest of your day. Go out, give your world Christ.